Well, I thought what uh, I'd show you guys is what I built. I took an old wood stove that I basically got for free. It's an ugly looking thing, but it's not, uh, it's not suitable for using inside of a home. But what I did was I added some copper tubing to it, as you can see here, and uh, ran that through some conduit. And it just comes in and it makes a, it makes a drop down inside my stove and I'm feeding waste oil to it. So I know a lot of other folks have done this before. Um, I've kind of played around with this now for, I don't know, I guess it's been probably a little over a year now that I've been, that I've been making modifications. What I've done is a little place that I used to work, they were throwing this away. And this, this uh, needle valve that I've got um, in front of a ball valve basically is just connected to an old ammo can. And so this, adjustment here let, allows me to ch to uh, adjust the flow and you can see where the flow is right there these little valves don't come cheap so I was thankful to be able to scrounge this rather than having to pay for it but um, at any rate I shut the ball valve off when I'm ready to let the stove cool down and I just continue to let my little squirrel cage fan over here <clears throat> you can kinda see this and so I also put a ball valve in that. That's another modification I made because initially it was just too much airflow. I had to dampen that down. It was wanting to blow smoke out through my stove. So I've done that and then just got this little fan here blowing heat on it. But at any rate, the other thing that I bought, uh, which works out fantastic, is a Harbor Freight uh, pneumatic barrel pump. And so I just hook my airline up to that. I pump my oil right in here and I got a little screen set up my wife wasn't too happy when she found out I used her colander but at any rate I bought it a long time ago before we got married so I I got a pass on that one but anyway that's what how that works and then inside it's uh I would recommend if you do one of these make sure that you use uh, use a wood stove that has a uh, a glass front because it makes the ability to see what's going on in there a lot better so that you don't have to this thing's pretty warm right now but I'll as you can see it's a cooking now you probably wonder what is the temperature that we're getting so there we are and it kind of varies around the stove depending on and I like it to be I like it to be somewhere around a little over 600 degrees that no that way I know I'm burning real clean and it's outside it's real clean too it's basically all you get is heat vapors so but uh, anyway a few key points here of what I did um, was that I have inside the air is blowing and I got conduit and it's set up at a blowing straight down and uh, all I all I've got inside is a stainless steel little cheap bowl you can get out of a thrift store Walmart whatever and what I put in it and this is really important and this took some R&D on my part to figure out the right stuff to use but here's what I did I use this stuff right here uh, lava rock and what that does is when you put that inside your stainless steel bowl, it allows the oil to disperse. And kind of like a wicking, uh, like a wicking type affair. And so the oil will burn down inside the, uh, uh, inside the, the bowl, but it won't get blown out by the air induction that I'm using. So it's important that you have something like that in there. So the oil can get down, it'll burn, but you won't blow the flame out. Um, but uh, at any rate, sometimes I open up these little air vents that I've got here just to get it started and get it pulling a good draft. My problem that I have right now that I need to modify is I have way too long of a span between my stove and the wall as it's going out. So it doesn't draft as well as I'd like it. And that's another upgrade I'm gonna make. But the point is, is that I'm able to heat my shop uh, 24 by 36 and uh, so I can I can warm this this place up pretty quick uh, with this even we, we drop down at pretty cold temperatures so anyway I hope uh, what you guys see here is is uh, helpful 
and give you some ideas anyway. So I, this isn't all my idea, obviously. There's a lot of people on, on uh, YouTube that have done things similar to this, but I thought I'd throw my little take in there. So works real good. The other thing, oh, I should mention too, when you're starting this, the absolute best thing I have found so far, hands down, is diesel. And thanks to my little Snapple bottle there, I put just a little bit of diesel in there, let the oil flow in first when it's cold, and um, and make sure I've got a good flow of oil coming in. Then I add some diesel, fire it up, and this is the other reason why the ball valve is important. You shut that down a little bit so you don't over overdo it until the heat gets good enough and then you can just gradually open that ball valve up till it's it's all the all the way open this little fan that i've got here this is another one that i just scrounged um getting tossed out so at any rate um so enjoy hope you guys get some good ideas later